My name is Tiny Mungwe. I am a filmmaker from South Africa. Okay. My first trip to Lagos. I've been here since Sunday this week. My, it's Thursday today. And I've had the best time of my life. It's wow. true what they say. You must come. You must see Lagos and die. Better than Durban because that's where I met you. Well, I'm still gonna go back to Durban, so I can't give you this answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Durban. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a beautiful city. It's it's nice to see um, a city and a country with so much diversity, and to see how this plays itself out in this place. It's nice to see a city with a rich post-colonial history and existence. It's just an inspirational space to be in. You're talking um, about Lagos, yeah? I'm talking about Lagos. Uh, you know, a lot of the literature that we consume about Africa and South Africa is about Lagos. A lot of the movie inspiration is filmmakers on the continent that we follow is about Lagos and Nigeria. And um, yeah, so it's really, really nice to be here and I hope I come back. How different is what you heard from what you met on the ground? I mean, does it correlate? Oh, it's always different. I mean, I think what we read and what we see in movies is the experience of particular people, and it's just nice to come here and create my own experiences with Lagos. Um, the visa application, how easy was it? The visa how application, I, this one trip, and I know this will be my last time having this privilege, was smooth because it was being done in the background by the kind people at AFRIF and the kind people at the Kwazulu Natal Film Commission, who are the people who brought us on this trip. But I know, and you know, that visas between South Africa and Nigeria are a nightmare. And we really hope that a part of this world that we're trying to build, this one pan-African world that we're trying to build, will mean that there will be an end to those kinds of problems. But it's a problem, and they must better watch out. What are you going to miss about Lagos? I'm going to miss the jollof more than anything. But uh, obviously, you cut this out so that my Ghanaian brothers don't see. I'm going to ask you which is better, the Nigerian or the jollof? See me, I'm the, about the Ghanaian United Pan African existence. But the jollof of Lagos, I will miss. Uh, okay. Well, how's the experience like at Afrif? Uh, is it different Afrif from... Afrif is a wonderful festival. We've seen so many engaging films. We've met so many filmmakers from all over the continent in this film festival. And it's really nice to be plugged into that. And we really hope to come back again for another edition of Afrif. Tell me about filmmaking. I mean, you weren't really making films before recently. I have been making films, but I've been making films and balancing it with festival making. So um, from the beginning of 2017 has been the beginning of just like a pure film existence for me, film making existence for me. And um, it's a privilege anyway to be able to interact with films, whether it's curating film festivals or making films. Um, it's just a transition, but it's, it's not been a rough transition. When is the future coming? Hey! <laughs> Speak to my new friends in Nigeria. Let's make a feature happen. Is there going to be collaborations? This is exactly why we're here. We want to collaborate with um, Nigeria. We want to collaborate and create stories in collaboration together and share audiences and share ideas and share our stories. Yeah, that's exactly why we're here. Um, what do you have to say to Nigerians or rather to South Africans who would like to come to Nigeria? All I can say is come. Come to Lagos. See Lagos and die. <laughs> Thank you.